Let's build your Unity project into an application. Alright, we find us back in Unity once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how you can actually build your Unity project into a game. And the way to do this is to go to File, Build Settings. And right here, the most important thing is to add all of your scenes into this list. So usually you have nothing in here or just the sample scene. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that every scene that you are going to visit in your game is added right here. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And then, of course, you can decide on what platform to publish this to. If you've added the Android module, you can publish it to Android. Dedicated server is a little more complicated. But in this case, usually Windows, Mac, Linux is the thing to do over here. Now, in my case, I'm going to target the Windows platform and you can then click the build over here. It's going to open the project folder. Let's just right click and make a new folder right here. I'm going to call this the builds. And you're just going to go in there, select that folder. And then it's going to, well, compile everything, get everything ready so that the build is going to be created. This sometimes takes a while, of course, depending on how big your game is, right? How big your project is, how many custom things you have in there. So just be patient over here. Let this run through until it has finished. And once it has finished, it should open the builds folder. And you're going to see you now have an EXE. And if I were to select this, it's going to immediately start the game. And you can see there is my game. I can go to the credits. I can go to the options and change this. I can start the game. And here I am in my game absolutely freaking awesome and then to well get out of it i have to press alt f4 that's okay and then one thing to also double check over here the exit game button or the quit game is going to close the exe absolutely freaking fantastic and now you can take this and share it with your friends for example or all sorts of other things and that is one big thing now there are a ton of customization options under the player settings if you click on this you can see you can change the company name you can change the product version you can even add some different icons over here you can even you can override the icons for specific presets there are a bunch of things that you can basically change over here usually in the very beginning, you can almost keep everything at default. Once you're advanced enough to actually start thinking about publishing a game, then you can think about the player settings. And if this is something that interests you, I might talk about that in a future tutorial as well. But that is basically the idea of how you can build your game. Now we've built the game. How about we make the store menu look pretty good? You can take a look at that in this video right here. Hope to see you there. So yeah.